Holy Spirit at this place tonight. God has been good to us. He's worthy of our praise. Amen. 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 We thank God for your presence tonight. We thank God for how good he's been to us. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. First, we want to give a, a hearty praise to uh, Pastor Devin Williams for allowing us to host the meeting here at his church. Come on, let's give him a hand praise. We thank God for you. Appreciate you. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. of Jesus and all he done for me. Come on. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. Amen. 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 I thank God for saving the goodness of Jesus and all he done for me. My soul cries out, hallelujah, I thank God for saving me. Come on, put those hands together. Come on, he's worthy tonight. He allowed us to come into his house of worship tonight. He's worthy tonight. of the goodness of Jesus and all he done for me my soul cries out hallelujah I thank God for saving me come on lift those hands we're in the house of the Lord tonight you're free to praise him tonight to lift him up tonight Tonight is Deacon and Deaconess Night, amen. We want to have a good time in supporting them tonight as we celebrate Jesus. He's worthy, amen. Tonight, we're going to open a prayer with Elder Corey Smith. We're going to ask them to come forth tonight. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord again. Ask everyone to stand. Let's go before the throne of God tonight. This week is, is a week that we're set aside to come together in fellowship. Amen. God has blessed us, has he? Amen. Amen. He has blessed us, and we thank God for it. Amen. Oh, praise but me yes Lord remember but me oh Lord Your 
to say yeah. Come on, say yes to the Lord. Come on, say yes. Yeah. The Lord want to hear from you today. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Come on, Zion. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Come on, yes, sir. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. God, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. We clap our hands and we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for how you blessed us. How you blessed us, God. How you kept us to come to another diocese assembly. Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for how you kept care of us, God. All the way from January until this moment. Lord, we thank you, God. For how you blessed us since last year we sat amongst each other, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for it was no goodness that we've done, but by your tender grace and mercy. Oh, God, we thank you for your love and kindness, God. Lord, we say thank you for you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. God, we say thank you. My God from Israel, for you put this for God of you, Lord, we live, we move, and we have our being. We thank for the activities of our limbs. Lord, we thank you that life being well as it is. God, we thank you, Lord, for food on our tables, clothes on our backs, roof over our heads, the things that we take for granted, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank God you just spared our little lives. We realized that millions didn't make it, but we were one of the ones who did. Lord, we thank you. My, 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 my. my God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for those that are here tonight, that are represented here tonight, God. Bless this meeting, Lord. Put your stamp of approval, God, on this assembly, Lord. Let a spirit of revival rise in your house, God. Let the spirit of revival Manila Sah, rest on your house tonight, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing and what you're going to do and what you're doing right now. Bless everyone, God, that is on the program, God. Oh, God, bless them, Lord. Go with them, Lord. Let your Shekinah glory, Father, fill this place. Let your anointing, God, fill this place. Oh, God, send your glory cloud into this house tonight, God. Throughout this week, God, bless everyone, God, under the sound of my voice, Lord. Bless those that are on their way here, God. Give them traveling grace and mercy. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, church say 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 Jesus, bring a spirit revival here tonight, in the name of Jesus, hear our cry, O Lord, hear our cry, O Lord, we sent to you as our earnest plea, in the name of Jesus, someone, Lord, Come in here with heart bearing, a heavy heart, Lord. Lift them up, Father. In the name of Jesus, somebody's mind is troubled. Ease their troubled mind, God. That surpasses all understanding. In the name of Jesus, do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Somebody's wrecked, body's wrecked with pain. Ease the pain, Lord. Oh, God, you are the God that healeth thee. Touch right now, Lord. Touch right now, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Do it right now, God. Touch him, Jesus. Oh, God, touch, Lord. The careless and unconcerned. Oh, God, touch their minds. Help them to cry out, yield. 
I can't hold out no longer. What must I do to be healed, delivered, and set free? In the name of Jesus, touch, Lord. Touch, Lord. Touch, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, my master, Lord, do it right now, Father. Let us not be weary, Father, in well-doing. We can't give up now. We come too far, Lord, to turn around, God. We thank you, Father. Now you let the storms pass by us, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. God, my God, we thank you, Lord. As we slumber, God, and we slept, Lord, you let the, the ambulance, Lord. You let the fire trucks. You let the police, God. You even let the midnight rambler pass by our door. We thank you for the blood, the blood that covers God. Yeah, God, we thank you for the blood that you died and you shed on Calvary Cross. We thank you for the blood for you purchased us, God, with your own blood. And God, we thank you. Help us to be a ready people, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we want to be ready, God. We want to be ready when you come. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, let our lamps be trimmed and burning. Be ready for the bridegroom coming in the name of Jesus. We want to be ready without spot or wrinkles. Oh, God, we want to be ready when you come. Oh, God, let everything that we do tonight and throughout the week, God, let it be real, Father. Let it be real, Father. Whatsoever we do for Jesus, let it be real, God. Oh, God, touch right now. Oh, God, bless the, man. the speakers on this week, God. Let them preach with power and anointing and conviction now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, touch right now, Lord. Let us leave here inspired and motivated to do more work in the vineyard, Lord. For we know the harvest is right, but the labors are few. God, let us not be, oh, God, tired. For them. Let us not give up, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we know the race is not given to the swift, not to the strong, but he that endured to the end. Oh, God, help us to endure as a good soldier. And God, we want to give up to you, Father. These blessings and the other blessings that we failed to ask. Oh, God, and we ask in your name, God. Oh, God, thank you, God. Thank you, Father. It is so. And so it is. Clap those hands and give God the glory in this house. coming this way. And for you all who are from Panama City, we just, this is the sixth year that Michael came and just tore all this city up. And so when I think of how good God has been to us, the mercy he has shown us, we, we're not better than them folk that get hit. It's just God's grace tonight. Amen. Amen. And because of his grace, I'm going to give him praise. I want him to know I appreciate him tonight. We're going to continue to follow our program tonight. We have a welcome from Sister uh, Janessa. I guess I would pronounce that. Lewis. Everybody stand. The bishop will come in.
Give her a hand, praise. You should feel welcome now. How many of you know when you come into the house of the Lord, there's liberty in the house of the Lord? Amen. What the spirit of the Lord is, there's what? Amen. So let's stay so you can lift your hands. Amen. It's amazing how uh, we used to praise God to, amen, we danced out of our shoes. Praise God. Amen. Until... Amen. We look up and it's midnight. Yeah, y'all looking at me funny because y'all don't like to do that no more. Amen. I was telling them when I grew up in the church, you know, Groves Temple, matter of fact, firstborn church. And uh, the pews was not not comfortable and nice like this. I'm 67. Hard wood pews. And I was a teenager. And my mom and dad, them would be praising God. I look at the clock and it's nine o'clock. Fall back to sleep. Wake up, look at the clock, it's ten o'clock. Fall back to sleep. Next thing I know my mom telling me and my baby sister, wake up and it's eleven thirty. They've been praising God all But let me say this, no hurricanes never came my way. So maybe we ain't praising God like we should. Maybe we ain't praying like we should. Amen. All right. Uh, the praise and worship team, we ask them to come forth and lead us. Amen. Let's, let's praise God. Amen. They shouldn't, they shouldn't have to pry us out of our seat to give God praise because he's been good to Pastor Bradford Johnson. And so when you see me praising him, I want him to know I appreciate what he's done for us. So let's give a praise team a hand. Praise as they come forth tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Does anybody believe we serve a good God on tonight? Come on and put your hands together if you believe that the God that we serve is great. He is mighty. He is worthy of all the glory and all the honor. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good.
Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. 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 Some may have had a challenging day today. How many know you have to look beyond your faults and see Jesus tonight? Amen. God is real tonight. Somebody said, I can feel him in my hands. I can feel him in my feet. I can feel him all over me. Sometimes tiredness come upon us from the day. But how many know you have to shake that tiredness off? And give God the praise that is to do him. God is real tonight. Amen. This, this is no formality for me. I don't wait till I get to church to praise God. Because sometimes, amen, church might not be to two or three days before I can get there. But I need some help from God right now. They tried to usher us into the presence of God tonight. Amen. Y'all remember that song, Just Another Day? That the Lord has kept me. I, I, didn't understand, I didn't understand them old folk back then, even though I was brought up. I'm like, man, why are they singing these songs? But one day I found out for myself, June. Y'all remember they to testify. I thank God for the blood running warm in my veins. I thank him for the activities of my limbs. And I said, what are they talking about trees and stuff? But see, I didn't, I didn't know what they meant back then, but now I do. Amen. He's here tonight. I don't have to go to a TDJ conference to feel God present. I don't have to listen to Joel Osteen to hear God. I know if I can just get into the house where people believe like I believe, that God is a healer. He's a deliverer. Amen. No, 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 no. Amen. Y'all remember that song? Here I am to bow down. Here I am. To say that you, when God shows up, things happen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise. Praise Him like you mean it right now. Act like you mean it right now. I tell you to wave your hands right now. Somebody shout, Lord.
you should feel a little freer tonight. You ought to have a little bit more pep in your step tonight. Amen. Amen. Because God is good to us. Amen. Amen. Where the presence of the Lord is, there's fullness of joy. Amen. Tonight we thank you. We thank, let's give them a hand praise for ushering us into the presence of God. Amen. At this time, we're going to do the presentation of our bishop who hails all the way from the great state of Georgia. Amen. He's the bishop of the greater West Florida Diocese. Amen. And we're honored and privileged, amen, for him to be in our presence tonight. And I want you to shout it as loud as you can. You know, there's something how I watch all at the football games. I got, I got grandsons who play football. Now, I want y'all to know that I won't be out there like, praise the Lord, and looking around. Run, grandson! Run that ball! <laughs> I got one grandson, he's a quarterback. The other one, he's a receive, uh, wide receiver. I'll be cheering them fellas on. Amen. But how many of y'all know we're on Team Jesus tonight? <laughs> And when you're on Team Jesus, you always win. Come on, shout Jesus! Jesus! All right. We're trying to set the atmosphere for the man of God tonight. So he won't have to preach so hard. He just said a free word from the God and the spirit was just fall, 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 Holy Ghost. Amen. So shout it loud. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, that sounds good. Say it again. Thank God. Thank God. For Bishop Timothy B.D. Sr. Come on, give him a hand praise. Stand to your feet. Let's give him a hand praise as he comes. Come on, keep those hands together. Let's give our God some praise. Come on, let's give our God some praise. Come on, open your mouth. Let's give our God some praise. He's still worthy from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same sun. The name of the, you may be seated, the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. We honor the Lord tonight who is our life. Amen. We thank God for our Officials of this diocese, amen. Come on, can we clap our hands for all of our officials, presiding elders, superintendents, union directors, amen, district missionaries, district mothers, yes, hallelujah, district deacons and deaconesses, and as well as the diocese on that level, our union directors. We thank God for all of our pastors, our first ladies. Can we give it up for our first ladies? And I thank God for my wife on tonight, amen. My wife, co-pastor Christina. Michelle Dees, we thank God for her and my daughter on tonight. God bless you. Good to see you. Thank God for those that traveled with us from Georgia. It won't be before you long, but I was listening at Pastor Johnson, and I said, it seemed like he came to give God glory. Anybody else came to give God glory? I need somebody to lift your hands and shout, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it seemed like, Believe God. I believe God. I believe God. Hold on. I'm thankful. If the only time I can believe God is when He's doing something that I can count that He's doing for me. But what about all the things that he does for me that I don't even know that He does for me? That's why I can say whether. Well, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank God. Thank God for your Deaconess Ross and Deaconess Ross, amen. We're going to yield the floor back into the hands of our presider. But listen, tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Whatever you do, don't be in the place. 
and miss the God of the place. Say it one more time. Say, don't be in the place and miss the God of the place. You may miss your neighbor. You may miss your daughter. You may miss your cousin. But you ought not to miss the God that dwells in this place. God bless you. Back into the hands of our presider. Not here tonight to welcome us to the city. We're gonna ask you to stand for our national theme song. Amen. And let's sing it like we believe it tonight. Amen. Because Jesus is wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful Jesus. wonderful tonight. Amen. And you have to grow in your relationship with God because in my early Christian days if things wasn't going right, God wasn't wonderful. Amen. I know y'all y'all always always been wonderful for you. Amen. But I learned that whether things are good or bad, God still is wonderful. Whether life is difficult or challenging, God is still wonderful. Amen. And once you grow to that, you're real in God. Because some people can only praise God when things are going well. Amen. Amen. And so tonight we thank you. And at this time we're going to have our acknowledgments, announcements rather, and acknowledgments by our assembly announcer. You may come at this time. Praise the Lord. Amen. Acknowledgements. We, the Greater West Florida Diocese, have come to the St. John Missionary Baptist Church here in Panama City for our 37th Greater West Florida Diocese Fellowship Assembly. Amen. Amen. We share a special thank you 
to Pastor and Lady Delwyn Williams and the St. John Missionary Baptist Church. It's okay to give them praise. The St. John Missionary Baptist Church for their hospitality for allowing us to be here this week. On behalf of our Diocese Bishop, Timothy, and Lady Christina Dees, and the Greater West Florida Diocese family, we pause to acknowledge the presence of all the visiting bishops and clergy, as well as the delegates from the respective diocese from the Firstborn Church of the Living God Incorporated. We also acknowledge the presence of all visiting family and friends of the Greater West Florida Diocese. We appreciate you taking this time to come and fellowship with us during this special time. Thank you. Our announcements as is, are as follows. Wednesday night, Greater West Florida Diocese family, excuse me. If you have not done so already, please see the finance committee to purchase your badge for this week. Uh, the badge will cover all of your public offerings and uh, the badge purchasers will receive special fellowship assembly keepsake to remember this year's assembly. Pastors, please note that all assessments are due into the finance committee tonight. Thank you. Join us tomorrow night via Zoom for our morning impact experience at 11 a.m. The Zoom link will be available on our Greater West Florida Diocese Facebook page. You don't want to miss it. Um, then join us again tomorrow night as we assemble here to uh, hear the voice of our presiding bishop of the Firstborn Church of the Living God Incorporated. The attire tomorrow night is Class A for all clergy and Sunday best for all laity. God bless. If there's any corrections or changes, if we come up from the pulpit. Amen, we thank God. Amen, this uh, applies ourselves accordingly to the announcements. We thank you tonight. We're getting ready for offertory service. Amen, just remember that offertory service is part of the worship service. Amen, Amen. and it's a blessing to give. Amen, to the ministry of God. So we're gonna ask the finance committee to come at this time and uh, we'll be under their direction. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord again. Come on, will you clap your hands for God's amazing grace? <laughs> Amen. We had a minister in our church, she would say, it's offering time in a sanctuary. Amen. So I say to you tonight, it's offering time in the sanctuary. Come on, clap your hands if you have something to give. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask everyone on tonight for a $30 offering. Amen. You can't be God's giving no matter how hard you try. The more you give, the, the more you give, the more he gives to you. Amen. We understand that you cannot give what you do not have. Amen. But if you do have it, please cheerfully give it. Amen. Amen. If you want to pay by cash app, it is dollar sign or cash tag. GWFD 2023, cash tag or dollar sign, GWFD 
have everyone given. We're going to ask the presider to play, pray God's blessing over the offering. Amen. Bow our heads. Mercy, kindness, and grace that you're showing us this day, God. Bless this offering, God. Bless the ones that gave, God. Let this offering be used for the building of our glorious kingdom. And we ask all these blessings, and that's on Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord hand praise for he is good and his mercy endure forever. Amen. At this time, we're going to have the introduction of the speaker by our own bishop. And as uh, Bishop Dees come, amen, let's give him a hand praise as he comes forth to introduce our speaker. Come on, thank God for Bishop Dees. Amen. Are you ready for the word? Are you really ready for the word? Amen. Pastor Johnson was talking earlier, and we'll, we'll, before the end of the week, we're going to hit some of those old songs, the songs that brought us over. And one of the songs that brought us over, they used to say, Word. Yeah. Word of God. That's what we came for. The preacher tonight hails to us from the great state of South Carolina by way of the city of Columbia. Amen. He is a man of God. He's a husband of one wife, amen, and hopefully a nephew or niece will come soon, amen, bless you. He's a prophet, the Lord deals with him in gifts. He's a man of God that can preach the word of God. He's going to preach, and I believe that God has him on divine, excuse me, divine assignment to give to us tonight what he has given to him. Amen. We ask that you set your cups out on tonight and receive ye the voice of God through this man of God, can we clap our hands and shout, thank God. Thank God for the man of God, Elder Sparks.
love the Lord, why don't you give him a praise tonight? Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. Take one minute to praise him. Come on, firstborn, praise him. Hey, come on, my shando rabba. Praise him, praise him, praise him. You got 45 more seconds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You got 30 more seconds. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Certainly it is a pleasure and also a privilege to be here at the firstborn and this diocese, West, I think West Florida diocese meeting, but we honor the Lord for the command in chief of this local assembly. He's, he's a brother and um, I'm not a stranger. I was telling Bishop I'm not a stranger to the firstborn. I was much younger than I am now preaching in uh, North Carolina Roger Jackson and uh, Pastor Lula Webb down there in Bolton, North Carolina. So I'm not a stranger to the firstborn, but I'm so grateful that he's a brother and also a friend. And uh, can we celebrate him by standing in honor? Let's thank the Lord for the bishop. We celebrate bishop. Come on, let's celebrate the man of God. To his lovely wife, come on, we celebrate. Bless you. Amen. To all of the bishops, come on, let's celebrate all of the bishops and pastors and first ladies, come on, superintendents. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, certainly I honor the Lord for the past of this church. Uh, let's thank God. Pastor Williams. I give honor to my pastor everywhere I go just to let people know that I'm not a stray dog. I have a covering and uh, which speaks of my accountability. So if, if you want to know my character, you can follow me home those at home can speak of my character. So I thank the Lord for my dad. He's my biological and spiritual Amen. father. Amen. Can you thank God for my pastor, Amen. Apostle Patrick Amen. F. Chambers Sr. Amen. Amen. To my lovely wife, she's probably watching me. Uh, let's give my wife a hand. Amen. And to all of God people. Let's pray. Father, I thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Give him a thank you praise. Amen. I'm kind of recovering. Uh, I was in uh, Dallas on Sunday, so I'm really recovering. Um, I had a lot of air on me while sweating, and you know how that is when you're preaching on Sunday you to have a setback. So I need you to pray for me tonight. And uh, if possible, maybe cut the air. I'll turn it up a little bit because uh, it's hitting me right here in my throat. And uh, I need my voice. Y'all ain't saying that, but I need my voice. I'm trying to live a long time and I'm definitely not going to kill myself. Amen. I want to live 80 and 90 years old. So uh, 
And y'all pray for me tonight. I promise you it's not my intention to be long, but prayerfully I will be effective. Um, I hear this song. I'm pretty much, I love hymns and all of that uh, good stuff. I love the hymns. You probably know this one. I won't do it too much. If you don't know it, then I'll know by the way that you play. But you're playing well tonight, so let's give him a hand. You're playing. Yes, sir. So pray for me. Saved by his power divine. Saved. New life sublime. Life now is sweet. And my joy is complete. From saved. Say, yeah. tell somebody I'm glad I'm saved. Will you tell about two or three people? Say, by his power divine. Help me. Say, new life sublime. Yeah, life now is sweet. And my joy is complete, please, please, from saved. Anybody glad you saved? Saved. Clap your hand and tell three people I'm glad. I'm glad I'm saved. Clap your hands and praise him. I said praise him for salvation. Some of y'all just looking, you maybe ain't got it. I said praise him for salvation. I'm not talking about a house, I'm not talking about a car. I said praise him that is saved. Hey, hey, hey. Shakes him out of hand and tell him, I'm glad I'm saved. Come on, tell him, I'm glad I'm saved. Yes, Lord. I'm glad I'm saved. Hey, I'm glad I'm saved. Thank you. Come on, praise him. I'm glad I'm saved. I need some help in the back. I'm glad I'm saved. I say, shake some out of hand one more time and say, I'm glad I'm saved. Woo! shot I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I'm saved. Yes, Lord. Tell your neighbor, I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I'm saved. I don't know if you appreciate this, but I need you to put your hand in somebody's hand. Uh, I said, put your hand in somebody's hand. And tell your neighbor, said it's just like fire. I wish I had a sanctified church. Said it's just like fire. Ooh. Said it's just like fire. Hey, shut up. There's a man in my bones. Tell your neighbor, if you're talking by Jesus, if you're talking by Jesus, what do 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 do? If you're talking by Jesus, hey, he's a friend. I need 500 screamers to clap. He's a friend of mine. Woo, woo. Somebody thank him. Wake up, Zion. Wake up. Wake up, you boy. Wake up. I said, wake up, Zion. Wake up. Hold my shot. Wake up, you boy. Slap somebody and say, wake up, Zion. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up your spirit. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. 
Wake your spirit up. Hey, I pray. One more thing I'm going to tell you. I'm going to preach. Tell somebody. Said I'm bound for my Zion. And it's way out on the hill. Well, if anybody thinks it, tell somebody, surely, surely I will praise him. Praise him. Come on. Praise him. Praise him. Take 30 seconds. Praise him. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Get your Bibles. You have a long week ahead of you. Thank you. Thank the Lord. I need you to do, 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 do this for me. I feel God in this room. I need you to tell about two or three people. If, if they don't respond, then you sat beside the wrong neighbor tonight. I need you to tell about two or three people because I believe that the correct response will cause God to move for you by in the morning. So tell two people this. Tell somebody not dead. Hey, hey! I'm still here. Shondo. I, I dare you slap somebody and tell them not dead. I could have been, should have been. But I'm still here. It's by the grace of God. All right, get your Bibles very quickly. Only, only one verse tonight. Only one verse. Only one verse. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you, thank you. Only one verse. I'm going to praise him before I leave here, I promise you. Amen. But uh, only just one verse. God, we thank you tonight. Thank you, sir. Lord, I praise your name. Psalm 127, just one verse. And I believe that the Lord will help us. I believe the Lord will help us. If you have it, say, I have it. Psalm 127. Just one verse. Excuse me. Um, if one stand, can everybody stand? Let's let's do it together. And I promise you, I won't impose upon you to stand the second time when we pray. During the message, you can stand or sit as long as you receive the word. But stand for the word and then for prayer. Hopefully, by that time, you'll be on your feet. Uh, Psalm 127, verse 1. Except the Lord build the house. They labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city. The watchman waketh but in vain. Help me. The title is uh, my title uh, or theme is an unseen guardian. But I want to title this lesson that goes along and course out with the theme. Tell someone, let God build it. You may be seated. Let God build it. My dear, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, I like that praise. We, we, we live 
as I begin this amount of presentation, we live in a country, in a society, in an age where people really don't care too much for absolutes. Things are changing, the times have changed, and many things once held as truths or absolutes have been found to be anything but absolute. But there are, however, some things, brothers and sisters, that are still absolute. Geography gives us absolutes. I'm in, uh, I guess this is Panama City. I flew into Panama City, Florida. So Panama City, Florida is a peninsula in southwestern Bay County. Its locale is on the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> Geography says it's about a hundred miles west of Tallahassee. Geography also states that the main roads through the city are U.S. Route 98. An absolute. And the Florida State Road number 30. Somebody shout an absolute. absolute. Mathematics. Thank you. This is good. You can leave that about 15 minutes because they're going to need the air. I love this. And then you can cut it back on. Don't want nobody to faint and we got to pray on back through. Uh, so um, mathematics uh, gives us absolute. Two plus two equals what? Four. That's an absolute. I love you. You can work it all day long. Multiply it, divide it, jiggle and wiggle it. But two plus two is still four. History gives us absolute. For instance, history tells us that John Wilkes Booth shot President Abraham Lincoln in Ford's theater. That's an absolute. So then geography gives us absolute. Mathematics gives us absolute. History gives us absolutes. How many know that the God that we serve is absolute? He is the way. But you do know there are other ways. Plural. There are other ways. But according to John, he is the only way. If you don't believe that, let's have a dialogue. Let's have a little quick dialogue. He is the way. He is the truth. Come on, there are other truths. But he's the truth. He's the life. He's the door. He's the living water. He is the bread of life. You don't believe it? He said, Moses, I'll tell you what you tell Pharaoh in Exodus chapter 3. Y'all know that, right? Uh, can I give? I got two narratives and then I'll get to the pericope. Exodus chapter 3. Well, before we get to Exodus chapter 3, you got to go to chapter 1. The Bible says because of the children of Israel, they multiplied and grew that the Lord allowed hard taskmasters upon the children of Israel. And there was a new king by the name of Pharaoh who did not know Joseph. And because this new king did not know Joseph, the Lord allowed him to allow hard taskmasters upon the children of Israel. But if you read Exodus chapter 1 around verse 10 and 11, it says the more they were being afflicted, the more they multiplied and grew. One more time. I said the more that they were being afflicted, the more they laid afflictions upon the children of Israel, the Bible says the more they multiplied and grew. Two screamers, maybe one praiser. Perhaps the reason why you're being afflicted is because you're growing. Don't have time to park there. So God raises up a man. Thank God for Jochebed, the mother of Moses. A decree went out. He said we got to kill every Hebrew born baby because the Hebrew women are having babies left and right. So Pharaoh said I got to kill all the firstborn. But Moses' mother Jochebed took him from her hands and placed him in the hands of a basket. I said from Jochebed's hand to the hand of the basket. 
wrap it in bull rush. Come on, baby Moses is wrapped. I'm quite sure Jochebed held Moses in her hand. I'm quite sure she fed him. I'm quite sure she gave him milk. But she took him from her, from her hands to the hands of a basket and wrapped baby Moses in bull rush. Can I tell five streamers in this room, the reason why the enemy could not destroy you, it's because you were in good hands. Took him good hands from her hands to the hands of a basket, brethren, and wrapped him, placed him on the Nile. There are chances for this baby Moses to be destroyed while being wrapped on the Nile. Come on, church. He's floating on the Nile River, but he's wrapped. One more time. He's floating on the Nile River. Can I have some talkers on my right? But he's wrapped. I think the left side of my section, y'all will wake up after a while. I said, he's floating on the Nile River. Mother, he's wrapped. Could have been destroyed, could have been killed, but he was wrapped. All right, okay. Shake him out of hand as a neighbor. The reason why I'm still alive is because God had me wrapped. Y'all not talking. I'm wrapped, I'm wrapped, I'm wrapped up and tied up. Moses grew up in the house of Pharaoh. Don't have time to tell you the whole story, but he grows up in the house of Pharaoh and finally recognized who he really was. He saw his brother being mistreated so he slew an Egyptian in the sand. Verse number, chapter number three. Now Moses is 80 years later. He's on the backside of the desert, 80 years old, in the tent of Midian, tending to the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro. When suddenly he saw something that he never saw before. This is an absolute. He saw a bush that was burning. But the bush was not consumed. Mm, what was crazy about the bush the bush began to talk to Moses Moses take off your shoes have you ever asked yourself why in the world does God tell an 80 year old man to take off his shoes if I go to Hibbets and buy some sneakers first ladies and buy them at the cash register put them on and then walk to the car Although I just brought them, they're no longer new. Somebody asked me why. The reason why they're no longer new, it's because there's some dirt on the back of the shoe. I need two streamers. The reason why God tells Moses to take off your shoes, he says, hey Moses, take off the dirt of your past. Because I got to send you back to Egypt because you are Israel's deliverer. Do me one favor, grab some out of hand. You got two more time and I'll close. Shake them till you shake the teeth out if they got any teeth left. And tell your neighbor, say neighbor, God's going to use you to deliver your whole house. Y'all just missed the time to shout. God's going to use you to deliver your whole family. And then he says, Moses, this is the absolute. Moses said, well, God, when I get to Egypt, Pharaoh is going to ask, who sent me? God tells Moses, hey, Moses, don't you try to define me. Because anytime you can define God, you can finish God. God is so much God until you can't even define him. So Moses, I'll tell you what. Tell Pharaoh that my name is. Y'all know it. I am Come on, my shando. I'm back. That I am. Now, I am is in the Hebrew. It is a ye, I show a ye. So, I am is in the tense of the verb to be. One more time. I am is in the tense of the verb to be. I am. Y'all went to school. I be. I am is in the tense of the verb to be. So, when God says, I am that I am, he says, I will be who I will be. I will be who I've always been. I am now what I always was. And I always was what I always will be. Tell them I'm an absolute. I am that I am. 
Would you high five somebody and tell them the God that I serve is an absolute. He's so absolute until he scooped down the dust of the earth, blew breath into the bumblebee whose wings are smaller than his body. He's so absolute until he swung the sun 93 million miles away, told the sun, take the day shift, the moon, the night shift. He's so absolute until he stepped out of nowhere, into somewhere, off of nothing, onto something, reached back in darkness and said, let there be light. He's so absolute until he put the sour in the lemon, the leap on the leopard, the stink in a skunk, camouflage in a lizard, the stripes on a zebra, the neigh in a horse, the roof roof in a dog, and the meow in a cat, shakes him out of hand and say, he's absolute. Thank you. He is absolute. Can I have 17 more minutes? Please give me 17 more minutes. So it's, 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 brethren, preachers, it's, it's Psalms 127. This Psalms is located in the fifth and final book of the broad categories of the Psalms. It is entitled, A Song of Ascents of Solomon, caught in the study, because most scholars believe that this these psalms are identified as songs of ascents because they were sung by the pilgrims making their way up. Ascend means to go up. So they were making their way up to Jerusalem. So they had to go up through the moon, go up through up to Jerusalem through the mountain while going up. Tell somebody I'm getting ready to go up. All right. Don't have time to stay there. So the Psalms of Ascent is consists of 15 Psalms, ranging from Psalms 120 to Psalms 134. But sisters and brothers, the main idea of this particular Psalm that I read to you is that without God, it's not worth it. Mm. I'll say it one more time. Without God, Shamokaya, it's not worth it. But whenever we give God the rightful place in our life, you will never leave empty handed. Let me prophesy to 17 streamers. God says you're going home tonight and you're going to sleep. Knowing that I got you covered. I need you to pass that down your road. Come on, Chico. I'm back. Tell somebody, God got me covered. I wish I had a talk back church. I said, pass that down your row and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, God got me caught. <laughs> oh, praise the name of the Lord. It's in this psalm that we learn without God, it's not worth it. Firstborn, it's not worth it to make permanent decisions without God's approval. It's not worth it to buy. It's not worth it to build. It's not worth it, brothers and sisters, to do anything that you want to do without the blessings of the Lord. The blessings of the Lord maketh rich. And if no sorrow, if it's hellish for you, if you're struggling in it, then God didn't give it to you. But Matthew says, seek ye first the kingdom of God I'm very much convinced brothers and sisters that when we leave God out of our life all that we do is vain vain shows up three times in this pericope it means something that has no value something that has no worth vain means an empty achievement if you ever make a decision without God, I need five people who's honest, you will always end up empty. I got one more narrative and I'm going to close. In St. John chapter number 21, somebody shout St. John chapter 21. The Bible said that after these things, Jesus, catch this, showed himself again on the sea of Tiberias. 
he showed himself again. I was doing a study and another translation states this prophet that he manifested himself again on the sea of Tiberias. The same sea, the same savior, the same disciples. He manifested himself where? Somebody shout where? Where was the location? The sea of Tiberias. He manifested himself again. One more time. On the sea of Tiberias. Let me prophesy to 20 of y'all screamers who can help me preach tonight. God said, I'm getting ready. He said to tell you that look, he said manifestation is about to hit your location. I can't find no praise. I need you to pass that down your road. Tell somebody manifestation. You're not happy. It's about to hit your location. I'm not talking about a storm out on the ocean. I'm talking about a miracle with your name on it. Uh, come on, pass it down your road. As your neighbor manifestation is about to hit your house. Uh, it's about to hit your health. It's about to hit your money. I need 500 screamers to shout, I believe God. So, thank you. He showed himself again. But there was a man by the name of Simon Peter. Y'all know who that was. Come on, I don't have time. I don't have time to give it to you. You, you got senior bishop coming. I'm just going to give you my little Sunday school lesson. He, he, his name is Simon. Come on. She, oh, I'm back. His name is Simon Peter. Mm, Simon Peter said, well, I'm going fishing. And Simon said, well, if you're going fishing, we're going with you. <laughs> can I tell one person, there's a lot of folk, catch this. Everybody can go upstream with you. A lot of folk can go down, but they can't go up. I dare, I dare you to say, let's go to the club. You can get a whole, a whole car full of people. Y'all not talking. Huh? But I said, let's go to 5 a.m. prayer. It's too early. Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> so he says, I go fishing. And the boy says, I go with you. And the Bible said that he entered into the ship and catch this. When the morning was come, Jesus showed up on the shore. Tell somebody Jesus is getting ready to show up. Oh, I got to move. I got to move. He shows up on the seashore. You, you, you can cut the air back on the saints fanning. Uh, uh, he shows up. I see your mother in the blue. Uh, pray for me. Uh, he shows up on the seashore and he asked the boys, bishops, he said, did you catch anything? He said, do you have any meat? <laughs> and the boy said, nah, we ain't caught nothing. Catch this. It's nothing wrong with the boys going fishing. The problem in the text is that they went fishing without Jesus. Y'all listen. Whenever you decide to do something without him, it's vain. So he said, what I want you to do, boys, cast your net. Give me 12 minutes. Cast this on the right side. Have y'all read that text before? Cast your net. He says, throw it on the right side. Catch this for one person. The reason why you were unproductive in your last season is because you were doing it on the wrong side. He said, cast your net on the right side and you will find. So catch this. They threw the net on the right side. Jesus is already on the seashore, he has the fire ready because they're getting ready to have a fish fry. Anybody love fish besides me? Mm. The Bible says he already made the coal and the Bible says that they caught great fishes, 153. I'm just about finished. Somebody shot 153 fishes. Say it one more time, 100 and 53 fishes. Who am I preaching to tonight? I'm talking to a business owner. I'm talking to an entrepreneur. I'm talking to a preacher. I'm talking to a prophet. I'm talking to a first lady. God says in the next 
seeds that I'm getting ready to give you. He said, I'm getting ready to give you some options. He's getting ready to give you more than e and help. He's getting ready to give you more than enough. I need about 500 screamers in this room to shout too much. Overflow. More than enough. Shout it one more time. Too much overflow and more than enough clap your hand over your mouth and shout one more time uh -huh. eight minutes eight minutes uh -huh. so without the involvement of God dear brothers and sisters in the human affairs of your life uh -huh, you will end up empty uh -huh. it is still evident that without him we can do nothing. It's in him that I live. Y'all can talk now. It's in him that I move. It's in him that I have my being. Point number one that I want to show you in this text. Point number one is, it is the Lord who builds. Tell somebody near you, say neighbor. Yeah. It, is it is the Lord, Lord. who builds. builds. Except the Lord build. Push me, preachers. Except the Lord build the house. Except the Lord build you. Except the Lord build the business. Except the Lord builds the marriage. They labor in vain. That build it. I need you to do me one favor. You got another time after this. Get your neighbor about the hand and tell your neighbor. Say, oh, neighbor. Tell them. The preacher came. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tell them the preacher came all the way from South Carolina just to let you know that you got to let God build it. Oh, 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 oh. High five your neighbor behind you and say, oh, neighbor, you got to let God build it. Until you know that no weapon. I need to talk back church. That's formed against you. Shall be able to prosper. Tell somebody you got to let God build it. Uh -huh. Until you tap into a Jeremiah 29 and 11. Uh -huh. When he said I know the thoughts that I think toward you say of the Lord talk to me huh? thoughts of peace and not of evil and he said I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you an expected end uh -huh. what I love about Jeremiah 29 and 11 uh -huh. there's one word in that text it means expectation uh -huh. somebody shout expectation uh -huh. And Webster defines expectation. And I need 17 praises who will go off. <laughs> Prophet Webster says that expectation is the feeling that something is about to happen. Uh -huh. And I need you to scream at somebody <laughs> on the other side of the room tonight. <laughs> and tell your neighbor, say nay, 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 neighbor. Uh, tell them I got a feeling uh, I'm still looking at some of y'all waiting on the organ and the drum to come on in uh, but I wish I had an old school church tonight uh, who would say up above my head uh, I hear music I hear music in the air uh, tell somebody say neighbor uh, I got one more thing about expect Tell somebody it means to be pregnant. And who am I preaching to tonight? God says you're pregnant, but you're just not showing yet. God 
said you're already healed but you're just not showing yet all of your family are already delivered they're just not showing yet but you don't have to wait until the battle is over but scream at somebody and say go ahead and shout right now and I need about 200 screamers to open up your mouth and shout I said shout better can I close it except the Lord bill now there's three elements in this building process somebody shout there's three elements that you must have in order to build element number one you need the right blueprint you only say nothing I said you need the right blueprint and the blueprint is the word of God because man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God hold your Bible up if you got it and say I got the blueprint and the blueprint says heaven and earth shall pass away but the word of our God shall stand forever if I had my grandma here she would say get in the word and stay there y'all ain't happy get in the word and stay there and be right when Jesus come can I call it you need the right blueprint and number two you need the right builder somebody said the right builder you can't have a novice trying to build a mansion I'll say it one more time you can't have a novice trying to build a mansion you need to have somebody who knows about building and one thing I love about God y'all may catch this so many people doubt him but I can't live without him that is why I love him so because Jesus is real to me shake your neighbor's hand for the last time shake him and rock him some of y'all just looking rock him and reel him reel him and shake him and say neighbor you need the right builder cause Jesus said upon this rock I'll build my church upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail I came to tell firstborn that the devil can't win he can't win in your health he can't win in your house he can't win in your family somebody shout the devil can't win last element I'm done my 17 minutes up the last element in this building process is this you need brick believers you need the right blueprint you need the right builder. But you also need brick believers. Some of us in this room, you talk about faith, but you ain't got much of it. You sing about it. You even preach about it. But when it comes to the test, you ain't got much faith. You 
ain't got much faith to believe God for nothing. You say you believe him, but you really, some of us don't believe him like we say it. You need a brick believer. That even, catch this, I'm done, we're going to pray. Shama my. That even if you don't believe, I got enough faith to believe God for you. Even if you don't know how you're going to come out, I got enough faith to believe for you that God's going to bring you out with a strong arm and a mighty hand. I need you to do this for me. Don't play with it. I'm done. We're going to pray. But I need you to pull your neighbor in the Holy Ghost and don't play with it. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what the devil tried. I tell somebody it ain't gonna work. I need you to do me one more favor. I know we got a lot of people in this room, and I know some of y'all are comfortable, but I want you to obey the instructions. I want you to get out of your seat out of your comfort zone. Now some of y'all, your miracle depends upon you following this instruction. And I want you to tell five people, say neighbor, God says live. Oh, ba, 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 ba. He come on my show. If you can move, just move and tell him. Honda mo soba kataba. Tell them God say live. Live until the devil is defeated. Live. Pass that down your own. I'm done. Tell them God say live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hear me good. My angel is here. I'm going to speak to about two people. I'm done. My angel is in this room. He's here. But tell one person this again. Tell them God says live. I'm looking at you. But tonight I'm canceling the assignment of the enemy. God says, live. Point your hand at this man. Don't play with him. If you believe God, I want you to believe God with him and praise him. Point your hand at him and say, the Holy Ghost says contact the funeral home and to tell the funeral home that the funeral has been canceled shamala bata shamala mata shamato to baba god says live man i speak life to you god sent me as a prophet god sent me as a prophet tonight to speak life to your health. I speak life to your physical body. And from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, I command a miracle, my double to happen in your physical body. Clap your hand one more time and say, live, 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 live. Y'all don't believe it. Y'all don't believe it. Oh, oh, shut up, 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 up. He come a sanama. He come a shaba. He come a mandala mo so. He can't be so tobo. Live, 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 live. He says, tell you one more time this. He says, live until you're satisfied. Live until you're happy. Mm. Live as long as you want. 
Clap your hands. I see this, put your hands, I see this, I see this, I see this woman and I see favor coming to this woman. There's a, you man, you, yeah, you're the one. See favor coming to this woman, this lady that you're connected to. That little brown skin, little light skin lady that you're connected to. I see God giving this woman favor. Even with her, even with her hands, her hands. She has, I don't know who this, but she has the ministry of helps. She's in the system, but she's like helping people. I don't know, like, I see scrubs and all this other stuff, like scrubs. Mm. Like scrubs. Yeah. Healthcare. Health. Yeah. Health. Health. The favor's coming to her because of how she cares for others. Says you tell her that the Lord says I have not forgotten about the both of you all because of your heart towards God and because of your heart towards the ministry. And whatever this means, I want y'all to dance for him for 30 seconds. My mama's name and on my mama's name, I have a lot of these people, but he says there's favor just hit the whole Davis family. <laughs> Somebody go ahead. Some auto. Some auto. Somebody put your hands on. Now do this. I want y'all to praise him as if it was your family. Go ahead. You got five. You got 10 more seconds, come on. The young man that's dancing, the Lord says, I have you in my hand. Your future is mapped out in the plan of God. There's a call of God upon your life. I said one more time, there's a call of God upon your life. God's going to use you miraculously. But he says your pedigree will not be as others. There will be those who will look up to you. Hear me real good. They will look up to you it's because if y'all happy, you have for something for them to look up to. God says, stay clean and stay close to him. Shando Ubalaka. I cancel every distraction, every plot, every plan of the enemy for your life. I see stream. Somebody shout stream. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but there's numbers over your head. If the Lord of hosts is coming, if y'all get happy for him, he says, God says, I'm going to give you because of your heart towards him and ministry. I want y'all to dance for 30 seconds for him. Multiple streams of income. Somebody go ahead and help him. Shut up. He said, I'm going to make you the Joseph of your family. Somebody help him dance. I got to get up out of this, but I feel God. Somebody help me. Come on, firstborn. Somebody praise. You got 30 more seconds. Shabbat Shabbat Shabbat. Watch. Watch what the Lord does for this young baby. I said, watch what God does for this young baby. 
I want y'all to praise him if, if it was your child. God says, I'm going to take this baby to the top of her class. She's going to receive many awards. And academic success shall rest upon your baby. Somebody open your spirit in this room. Praise him if it was your child. Somebody praise him. Y'all got 30 more seconds. Come on and praise him. I'm done. I got to get up out of this. The senior bishop is coming. Come on, praise him. your neighbor's hand. We got one minute to do this and you got one minute to war. But I want you to grab him by both hands and say, neighbor, I don't care what you're in. Tell them I'm pulling you out to bring you out. Come on, I'm pulling you. I'm pulling you. Pull on them. Bring them out. Pull them out. In the name of Jesus, I'm pulling you. I'm pulling you. Be free. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Be whole. Oh, shout, pop, 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 pop. Be healed. Be healed. Come on out of that depression. Come out of that depression. Come on out. Fear don't live here anymore. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands, open your mouth and say, oh, Jesus. Y'all got one minute, clap your hands and pray. Oh, Jesus. Oh. He come on, Shama. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on, seek a low. Seek a divine. Come on, clap and pray. Y'all got one minute. I got to let you go. Come on, I'm done. Get my stuff. Oh, Shabbat. He shut up. See my heart. No music. Oh, Jesus. Come on. See my heart. Oh, Jesus. Clap your hand and say, Jesus. 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 That's a real praise. Hey, 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 Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Azama, ho! Ataba, Santa, Ata. Thirty more seconds, then you can come in. That's a real prayer. Thirty more seconds. Clap your hands and say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Don't play with it. Come on, I need to hear the sound of church. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. It's call and response. Somebody say, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Mm. Mm. Come on, 30 more seconds. Say something. I'm done. I got 15 seconds. My soul. Boom, 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 Lord Jesus, my soul, come on church, Lord Jesus, my soul, Lord Jesus, bless his name, I need you to tell somebody, hear the wonder, Shashana in my soul. He's the one mm -hmm. in my soul. He's the one in my soul. Come on, church, bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. I got to get up out of this. Come on, don't be playing with it. Let's make it easy for the bishop tomorrow. Come on, Miando. Oh, 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 oh. Mm.
Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you for your presence and your glory. Thank you, Hoshaka Bahaya. Thank you for what you've done in this place. I thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders. Thank you for testimonies that shall happen this week before this meeting is over. I thank you for the testimonies that shall come forth. Thank you for this bishop, your manservant. Continue to bless him. Continue to strengthen the work of his hand. Continue to strengthen the vision that he has set forth for this house. And we give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus. Praise him if you receive that word tonight. Praise him for the bishop and his lovely wife. Come on. We love both of them. Now let's thank God for the Holy Ghost in this church. Listen to me. I don't want you to miss a thing. There are a few of you all who will sow this seed, I believe, by faith. We're not begging. He only told us to ask. And it <coughs> coming down shall be given. And online, there's some of you online that will hear me and give what I'm going to give. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, let us help the bishop tonight. That's two of y'all. Now you got quiet. I said, look at somebody and say, let us help the bishop tonight. We know that there's a budget, but we want to help Bishop with the budget of this meeting. Somebody shout amen. amen. You can't just dance and shout. I mean, no, it takes your support to support the vision of this leader. Can you say amen? This is what I'm going to ask. But first, I'm going to ask uh, if the men, um, a few of you all who can do this, I want you to do it with me. I never tell you to do anything. I don't do it myself because I'm the first partaker. And you that are online, I need you to help me sow a $200 seed tonight. Amen. Not five. It does come that way. Not a thousand. But I want you to help me help your bishop and help the budget of this meeting. Amen. Can you say amen? amen? I want the men, if you all are able to give that with me, can you stand quickly? Amen. I want the men to give first. Amen. I want all the brothers, I want us to give first. I'll get to your number, but I need a few of you all to sow a $200 seed tonight. And if there are men online, I want you to do that. Thank you, my brother. Amen. Once you get the seed, I want the men to come in the middle aisle. Amen. I want the men who are going to help me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Come stand right in the middle aisle. I want you to help me tonight. Somebody shout, let's help the bishop tonight. You didn't lose your Holy Ghost, did you? I got the same Holy Ghost I had five minutes ago. Amen. Amen. So he's going to give. Thank you. My young brother's going to give. Superintendent, I want you to give that $200 seed with the bishop. I know you got it. It's easy for you. Come on. Look at them shoes. Amen. And uh, I'm going to come back for the superintendent. Hopefully, he said he's going to get me back. And I'm going to come back. Be a blessing. Ain't it sharp? Look at him. Sharp. Amen. Sharp. A $200 seed. Somebody shout a $200 seed. <laughs> Stand behind your bishop. Oh, I know you got it. I always look for you. I prophesied to you years ago. I said, whatever the bishop gives, you gives. And you'll never be broke. He's standing. Clap your hands, church.
Passover. Amen. Come on, men. I need all of you all to sow, sow something. Amen. Sow something with a seven in it. If you can't sow 37, just something with a seven. <laughs> Amen. I'm sowing. Let me get mine. Seven in that category. Let's support the man of God. Online givers, the men I want you to give. First, let me know that you're sowing. Amen. Greater West Florida. All right. Hold your seeds up before God. If you're going to give in the note, I don't know if you're already given in the note, but put in the note, no debt zone. Amen. Put in the note, no debt zone. And I believe what you've been paying on, God's going to pay it off. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the gifts. Thank you for these brethren, these men supporting the vision of their man of God. Father, I pray that you would bless them. 60, 80, 100 fold for others. Throw away the measuring stick. Give them back double for their trouble and triple for their trial. Quadruple for their catastrophe. It is so. So it is. In Jesus' name. Brothers, uh, brethren, can you just touch the basket and y'all clap and shout, I'll never be broke another day in my life. Amen. I'll never be broke another day in my life. Amen. That go through? That's 200? All right. Come on, y'all clap for the men. Come on. Thank you, brother. Thank you, men. Thank you. Come on, ladies. Clap for these men. These men of God. Come on. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. The women, I want you all to do the same. If you're able to sow a $200 gift, I want you to sow it. I want you to stand with us. I know two or three of y'all got it. I'm looking at how you dress. You can't dress like that and not have an offering to give. If you dress more than you give, shame on you. Shame on you. But amen. The women, I want y'all to stand. All of the women, I want y'all to stand at this present moment. And let's sow that category, 200, 137. Amen. All of the women, get your pocketbooks. Come on, get something to give. Amen. That's all the women, I want y'all to stand, get a gift to give. Let's support the bishop. Amen. Amen. If you're going to cash up, the cash up is GWFD 2023. Amen. So all of the women, I want y'all to stand, please, and get a gift in your hand, and let's give and sow seed in the ground. Amen. Amen. If you're coming, come quickly. I never had this problem with women in my life without giving. Never had this problem anywhere. I'm on, I normally have problems with the, the men giving, not the women. Y'all moving so slow. Come on, move quick. Glory. If it's your birthday, you'll move. Come on up in here, move. <laughs> Glory. My time's up. I got to get you out here for 12. That man, the preacher said, <laughs> we'll not be here at 12 o'clock. Come on, women, sow it. Amen. Now, this is the first. This is the first time the women moving slow. This is the first time I had that happen. First time. First time. I still love y'all, but it's the first time. First time. Young lady. Bring a seed here. Quick. Bring a seed. Quick. For your future. Clap your hands for her. Bring a seed for your future. You got it. These children got money. Come on in here. Bring a seed for your. Come on, women. So quickly. So quickly. 200, 137. So something. So something. So in that category. Our online givers, sow that seed, sow that seed. All the women, it's your time to give. Quiet stand, I want y'all to come quick. I didn't forget about you all. There's a lot of y'all up there. Thank you, mother. I know that's right. I'll walk for you. Don't hurt yourself, mother. Lord, mother, mother, we're going to get that limp up out of you tonight. Come on up in here. Get that limp up out of mother leg. Come on up in here. Get that limp up out of mother leg. Touch a, the back, took a back area. The nerve and sciatic nerve and all of that. Come on, my Shonda. Y'all clap. Come on, church. Come on.
Amen. The rest of you all, I want all the women to touch the basket. Come quick. Touch the basket. All the women, touch the basket. Uh, if you're able to give something, touch the basket. Come quick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mother. Amen. Thank you. Just touch the basket. If you gave, just touch the basket. Shall I never be broke another day in my life? Y'all clap. Y'all decree and declare that. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. That's right, mother. Shake yourself, mother. Shake yourself. Watch yourself, mother. Watch your mother. Bless your mother. Bless you. Let's give the mothers a hand. Bless your mothers. Shake yourself. Hey! It's turning around. Turning around. For me. For me. It's turning around. Shout money coming to me now. No, no, no. I say shout money coming to me now. Shout it one more time on the way to the seat. Money coming to me now. While you were walking, I saw money at your feet. He says, I'm changing your want into a desire. He says, I'm going to give you the desires of your heart. This is not a cliche. This is not a cliche. I don't believe in cliche, but I believe in the word of the Lord. The struggle is over. Point your hand at the offering. Thank you, Bishop, for allowing me to come. Thank you, firstborn. Pray for me. It's only what you do for Christ will last. Father, I thank you for your people giving. The late uh, senior bishop, senior bishop, these have said it real well, and I coined it. We look more like God when we give. So I thank you for your people sowing, giving into this work. Father, I pray that you would bless your people for sowing out of what they had. Give it back to them a hundredfold return. In the name of Jesus. And I thank you for it. Amen. Just stand on your feet and clap your hands and shout, I am a millionaire. Let's give the Lord a praise for the bishop. Whoever else is in charge. Amen. You may be seated. Just before we leave, we think, can we clap our hands for the man of God on tonight? We pray that you were blessed. You may be seated. Once again, we thank God for Pastor Delwyn Williams, our host pastor, and the St. John Missionary Baptist Church for allowing us to come. At this time, our mayor is here, the mayor of the city of Panama City. We're going to ask you to come up and have words and then we'll come back for the benediction. Come on, can we clap our hands for our mayor? Thank you, Bishop Dees, and uh, welcome to the assembly. Uh, very inspiring. Uh, it's uh, a different way than I look at religion, but you know, we're all trying to talk to Jesus. So, uh, and if we could, if I could, on behalf of the city of Panama City, I welcome the bishop and welcome all of you. And if we could get our city working as enthusiastically and as hard as you're working tonight, uh, we would turn this place upside down. So, uh, I, I, think, I think we could get the MLK Center down there built in about six weeks. <laughs> so I, uh, I appreciate you letting me come here and I appreciate seeing your enthusiasm and uh, it was great, and uh, I, hope, I hope we, uh, I enjoyed the uh, minister or, or your guest speaker, and I hope he got enough money out of you because he was, he was pretty, uh, he was pretty uh, enthusiastic. I, 
I thought I thought he was going to twist some arms out there, <laughs> maybe even break a few legs. But <laughs> so so thanks again, and uh, remember we're all working for Jesus, and we're all trying to get up there when it you know when the when the time comes. That's where we want to go. So, so thank you very much. I appreciate everything, and I appreciate everything all of you do for our city. Amen. We're getting ready to let you go, but we ask that you join us in the morning again at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time for our Zoom session. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow night, we're asking everyone to be back here to hear the voice of our leader. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for my godmother tonight. God bless you. Good to see you. Missionary Andrews. Praise the Lord. Can we listen? Listen, it's okay if you don't clap for me, but at least can you clap for Jesus? It's okay if you don't call your name or my name, but can we, can we settle on being able to call his name? Because he said if he be lifted up, he said he would do what? Draw all. Everybody standing. That's all we got to do is lift him up. Amen. We thank God for everyone, everyone. And I don't want to get to calling names, but I thank God for the seniors on this diocese. Amen. And I thank, and I, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because I know sometimes... When everybody else forget to pray, they know how to pray. Yeah, yeah. Say it again. They know how to pray. And I thank God for the prayers. It's their prayers that is bringing us over and bringing us through. And we are praying for those that are in the lower part of Florida. Amen. And, and, and listen, listen. I was walking around the house early today. I said, Lord, I said, take the breath out of the storm. My wife said, what you say? I said, Lord, take the breath. <laughs> yeah, y'all better understand it. I'm going to say this, drop it and leave it. Man better understand his place. Man better understand his place. Sometimes man get too smart. See, yeah, you, you, you can't, listen, all my life, I'm going to say this, all my life, I thought it was just God that dealt with nature and storms. You better understand, man is smart enough now to do some stuff to cause some things to happen. You study it. You study it. But guess what? When man get too smart for his britches, guess what? God will show who's yet in control. Yeah, so we're praying for all of those that are undergoing. And I said, Lord, I said, look at that. I said, isn't it interesting? Most hurricanes that are coming, they're coming at night. Coming at night. But we're praying for those families. Listen, I don't know about you, but I've got family down that way. And some of them probably got out and some of them are still there and decided to ride it out. But we're praying for safety and protection and covering for our family and your family and those families that are in that area. Kind fathers, we prepare to go from this place. Never from your presence. God, go with us and stand by us. Bring us back to this place tomorrow night. Show up on Zoom tomorrow morning and continue to be the Lord of our life and the Lord of our situation. Help us to receive the word on tonight and take it out and be better because of the word. Bless every heart that's here on tonight. And I forgot, let me stop and pause and thank God for our musicians on tonight and our choir and our praise team. We appreciate the Lord for you all. Now bless. As we prepare to part from this place, give a safe passage to our homes and other respected places. In Jesus' name, now unto him that is able to keep us from falling, present us faultless before the throne, the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest. Rule and abide with this thou people. Now henceforth and forevermore, every heart shout amen. 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 We'll see you tomorrow morning and tomorrow night. God bless you.